Planet Nexus. A legendary world, once home to an ancient race of near limitless power. Its wonders have attracted adventurers from the furthest reaches of the galaxy. Driven by desperation and destiny, they fight to control the planet's extraordinary mysteries. And now, an even greater secret is about to be revealed. I'd say things are going to get wild. I do so love a good party. Hello everyone! Good morning, good afternoon, good night to the rest of the world. Maybe you're watching, maybe you're not, but hi! How are you? Um, welcome to the Wildstar livestream. I'm Deirdre, Dee Dee Hollis, CRB Sunshine, aka your community manager for Wildstar. And I'm joined by probably the best guests in the universe. Oh, you're so nice. Yeah. Wow, that is pretty awesome. Actually. <laughs> They're outside right now waiting to come in. Oh, <laughs> I love you guys. Wow. I'm here with <laughs> our usual Chad Moore. Chad, Pappy, creative director Moore. It's uh, <laughs> great to be here. Thank you for the wonderful introduction, Dee. And yeah. then for my, <laughs> you're so welcome. Yeah. And I am so honored. I have always wanted to be on a live stream with this woman, but she kind of disappeared for a little while yeah, to do like sorry. grand things, and she'll talk about that later. But Jen Ortiz, Jen Bardic, <laughs> pro senior product manager Ortiz. Yeah. Well, thank Hi, you. welcome. Yeah. I haven't been on live stream in quite a while. I know. We actually yeah. changed our table. I yeah, everything. <laughs> yeah. Like all the equipment. Well, maybe not the camera. Too. The camera is the same. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. It might be. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I think we I, used an iPhone or something yeah. before. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, we've advanced now. We've come into the 21st century, and here we are. And Tony's still with, back there, too. That Tony, hasn't Tony changed. Tony is yeah. here trying to keep me in line, and it's still not working. Right. Um, he thought he could do a better job back there instead of here. No go. Uh-uh. Now I'm pushing the envelope now. So you saw that really awesome announced trailer. It was awesome. And um, I'm so proud and happy to be here with you guys, and we welcome all of you and uh, to our live stream where we're going to talk about the most fun things, closed beta testing. Yeah. Yes, that is today. So if you've seen anything on our announce, um, CBT announce, all of that stuff, on web, um, there's a lot of write-ups, there's forums, there's feature summaries, everything. Uh, we're going to talk about all of it right now. And we're actually going to do something even better than that. These two are going to get in-game. So at the end of the show, basically, if you'd like to submit any questions about anything you see, anything that you want to see, anything that we're going to be talking about uh, in regards to closed beta testing, uh, please go ahead and submit that uh, through the Twitch stream. Uh, of course, preface everything with a little cue so it helps our mods see that a lot easier. And I can get your questions to them, to me, and we'll do whatever we can to help you out and answer some stuff and, and whatnot. So, actually, let's just talk about what have you guys been up to? I mean, not much, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, it's just, been just yeah, kind of relaxing, like, you know. Playing like, tic-tac-toe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the beach. It's, yeah. yeah, it's right down the street. I mean, so obviously, we've street. been super busy, right, <laughs> with uh, with all this exciting stuff, closed beta. Last week's ability test was super great to see yep. people get in, check out the content, spent a lot of time in there myself. Absolutely. Spent a lot of Endcoin. Yep. Might have I, requested I've some more Endcoin. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. uh, but it's <laughs> this been... This guy. Yeah. 
<laughs> this guy, he gets end coin and it just goes in his pocket. He's got a hole in his I, end coin pocket. I do, pocket. yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's been, it's been really great to see people get in there, test out the new systems, get feedback already. And now that closed beta is here, you know, we're getting more people in there. It's just a really exciting time. It just to got real. Time. It did it get real. It just got really yeah. real. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was real before, but now it's super real. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> real. It's so real. So, <laughs> you know, Chad was talking about just like what we've been doing in the last month. And one of the things that we have been doing was Gamescom, where we talked to a ton of press and we set them up. Uh, with all of the information that they need to know. So you're going to be seeing on multiple uh, press sites and websites all of the content that's you know we've been wanting to talk about but couldn't up until today. Um, so there was that. So if you haven't seen any of that, go ahead and, and hit up some of our, our press coverage sites and they'll be having uh, kind of like Gamescom reviews and stuff like that. Um, the CBT tests have been going incredibly well. Our stability test, as you mentioned, uh, last week went really, really well. We were happy with the results. Um, we had the live stream with Tally. Uh, that happened on Wednesday, and that was your baby. Super big thanks for that, uh, because we were able to get really good logs for the transaction test, and we got to see Tally uh, spend a ton of fortune coin in the <laughs> Madam Phase fortunes to get the spider rider, so it was really cool. Yeah. And he got it. And, and he actually did a lot yeah. of our content as well, so he went through um, Veteran Pro Games Academy with uh, time travel watching over, um, and then we did a, a normal dungeon just to see all the changes that had been, uh, been done. So it was really cool all around. I thought it was great that Tally got the Proto Star Spider Rider in Madam Phase. I yep. have not yet received it. Uh, if you can't tell, I am extremely <laughs> bitter about not yet getting the Proto Star Spider <laughs> To the Rider, point so. where I actually gave him some more of the funny money for the stability test so he could play with his. Jen today. wouldn't actually give me <laughs> the Spider Rider because that somehow broke some rules, but I did. A, a to get some more yeah. end coin, so I will be buying some more fortune coins. <laughs> and what? You're not going to get it. I you're probably like, won't. <laughs> I'll be the only be person on in all of CBT who Jen, doesn't have this money. Right need right. more, more funny money. It's pretty awesome, though. Yeah, that no, it is. is pretty awesome. Yeah, if you haven't seen it already, uh, head to, to uh, closed beta server, and or if you haven't downloaded, please download. How do they download? I mean, how, don't they go somewhere? Where do they For, go, Jen? Well, it's everybody right here. got an email today <laughs> 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 to give them the download link. Additionally, it's up on the forums as yeah. well. Yeah, we have uh, links to how to download and uh, instructions on how to download the uh, closed beta client, which is the PTR client, just so not, mm -hmm. you know, not to cause any confusions to our players. Uh, so it's the same download, it's the yep. same client, uh, but the server is the closed beta server. Yeah. So please do that. Let's see. Um, what else have we found about our CBT findings? I mean, can we elaborate on any more things? Like, well, I've yeah, been digging up some that. really cool metrics. Yeah. Um, <laughs> disregarding the fact that I asked a bunch of people to buy the XP potion for the consumables test, our number one most popular item have been the fortune coins to play awesome. around with that system. Um, so that's super cool. Um, we also have had a lot of client optimization take place with this particular patch, and um, we're actually getting a lot of data from that as well. I think that drag racer <laughs> mount is pretty popular too, actually. It is yeah. actually pretty popular. <laughs> right. So are some of the costume sets, so yeah. we'll go through some of that stuff too. Yeah, no, we're, cool. we're definitely going to show um, everybody what we have in store and what they can enjoy. But it's been, I mean, just to, to kind of finish that, uh, that point, I think it's been really great that people have been in there testing yep. out the systems, right? Yep. Like trying to break them. Uh, <laughs> and it's been great to see A, that the systems are working, and B, you know, what people are actually interested in buying. Yeah, I, I, lo you, I yeah. log in and it's been pretty fun outside yeah. of the, oh my God, please give me some more. <laughs> <laughs> right. I told you, if you ask people to break things, they will come and break it for you. Yeah. Like give them pitchforks and they'll yeah. destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I love it. No, you guys have been incredibly helpful. Yeah. And gals, I'm sorry, I was guys and gals, people. Yeah. I'm not going to say that again. I got in trouble for that one. <laughs> the last time. Anyway, um, so Chad, Fortiche trailer. Yeah, so for anyone who's been paying attention this morning, we just released our teaser trailer. Uh, there will be a bigger trailer that's coming as we get closer to the actual launch of Free to Play. But uh, already people are talking a lot about it. It's super cool looking. Uh, I've been involved in the creation of that with some of our uh, other talented people, mm -hmm. both on dev and on the publishing side yeah. here. And, and it at is, Fortiche. Like well, and Fortiche, yeah. obviously, for anyone who doesn't know, Fortiche is one of the most talented uh, trailer creators in, in the world. Uh, and so as we were looking at different groups and how we wanted to push 
the free-to-play build as we got closer to that transition. Fortis just became the obvious choice for us. Really awesome visuals. Um, they're really pushing the envelope in terms of how they represent our art style. And uh, so far, the the teaser is great, but the main trailer is looking ridiculous. So I, I can't wait say, for you guys to see that when we, as we get closer. That one's just made, it makes me cry. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things. I, I'm not giving too much away, but um, it, you can't stop watching. You can't. Yeah. Like just every time I see it, it's just more and more yeah, interesting and fun and beautiful. It's so. really cool. We showed it to a lot of the devs at the last uh, meeting that we had, um, and we got a lot of good applause from that. It was really, really That's neat. Good. That's good. Yeah. Really, really neat. So it's you know, it's, cool it's just a, you know, all of the things that are happening in the game are super exciting. But having something like that to really build a lot more uh, outside excitement is just it's really fun. Uh, Absolutely. A fun part of the dev process, Absolutely. So. so um, we have that trailer, don't we? So we're going to go ahead and let you guys see it right here, right now. Keep watching. And we're back. So I'm, I've got the double, the double point. It says, no, no, we are, we're here. And we are, we're here. So um, just a, a gentle reminder and maybe a firm reminder, we're having a hard time keeping track with your questions. Mm -hmm. So please um, put that cue with the colon in front of it so that we know what to put um, and I know what questions to answer and, and stuff like that. If chat goes by super fast, we've got a lot of excited people watching. And uh, the more you can help us out on that front, the better it is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, our new player experience. But before we get to that, and as Chad is logging in and trying to set us up for that, um, one question that comes through is, uh, are we sending out emails to notify people who signed up for beta? Yeah. So uh, everybody who's a subscriber got an email today um, to talk about the closed beta, uh, and give them links to get in. Subscribers will automatically get into the beta. Um, over the course of the next several weeks, uh, we're going to be sending out invites. So um, you guys will be getting, hopefully, emails if you're selected to get in. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got some really, really cool yeah. stuff going on. We've got two different phases of closed beta. Uh, we're going to have the free distribution phase, which I'm, I'm going to be giving out a bunch of funny money to everybody. And then the second phase will be more of a uh, buy some end coin bundles. You'll get the funny money with it, and then you can start spending it in the store. Every time you say funny money, I want to giggle. You know, like, <laughs> we need to do something with that. Be like <laughs> giggle dollars <laughs> or something. Uh, we have another question in: Is closed beta ex close, uh, exclusive to big Twitch streamers? And I can answer that one. Um, the answer is no. Closed beta is not exclusive to Twitch streamers. While we enjoy and encourage Twitch streamers to go ahead and show that content um, to the masses, uh, it is not specifically exclusively for them. It is for everybody that we've currently invited in this phase. Um, and then to, to piggyback on what Jen says, um, you know, we're sending out these invites, but at the same time asking, please be patient because we are testing in phases mm -hmm. and we are expanding invites as we go. Uh, so if you didn't get your invite this week, don't worry. You know, things are coming and, and please wait. Uh, we're, we're on it. We're just doing things slowly at first before we ramp up by the yeah. end of our, our testing phases. Um, so now moving on, people want to see what we've got going on. So why don't you give us a little bit of that new player experience? I'm ready. Are right. you ready? Huh? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. Okay. So um, as we've talked about here and been talking about for the past couple of months, we completely revamped our entire uh, early game experience, our tutorial. Uh, we have a new pre-tutorial, which we're not going to dig into today, but you should take a look because there's information on yep. the web about that. Uh, but we, uh, as part of the revamp of this early game experience, we completely redid character creation. And so that's what we're going to show a little bit here today. So uh, what you're seeing here, there's a screen, <laughs> novice, which means you'd go to the pre-tutorial. You don't know anything about MMOs. You're going to learn your basic stuff there. New to Wildstar is you've played some MMOs, but you don't know anything about our particular game. 
veteran means you played it, you don't need to go through the tutorial and you want to jump right into action. So, so. novice would be more like move this way, move that way, right. yep. jump, jump, double double space right. if you want to double jump. Activate something. Got right. it. Um, and then new to Wildstar is a lot less that, but a lot more. Just like our learning your actual systems, of how, to, how to fight, you know, yes. how to yep. use combat systems and that kind of now, stuff. Now, story wise, you're actually going into three separate areas right. for each of these choices, right. too. So, in novice, you're going to be going to uh, kind of cryo sleep area where you're kind of informed on how to do the basic actions before you go into arc ship. For the new to Wildstar, you're going to go directly into arc ship. We're going to have a super cool cutscene, as you guys will see in a little bit. And then for veteran, um, we assume that you've already learned everything that you would have known, learned from cryosleep and arcship, and we'll just put you straight in the three to six zones. Yeah. All right, so let's jump in. We'll go new to Wildstar. And Pappy, you got to um, make a Dominion this time. <laughs> I know that. Okay. So, uh, oh, yeah. so basically, what the we have here, right? <laughs> all of this is totally new, right? You, uh, when you come in, you basically have character models on both sides of the screen, and you can basically choose uh, what faction you want to be. So if if I choose Dominion, I get a little description over here of what the Dominion is, and I can choose my characters. If I flip over to Exiles, again, uh, I get a little description of who the Exiles are and what they're about, and I can pick those. Today, I know it's a surprise, I'm going to pick Dominion. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, another thing here, so as you're going through and you're deciding what uh, character model that you want to choose, uh, what race you want to choose, as you click on the different races, you get little call-outs that uh, gives a little bit of lore about uh, each race. It also says what are the classes that each of those races can play. Um, you can also switch your gender. So, you know, if you like males, then you can jump in here and pick that. <laughs> if you like females, you can do that. Um, I am going to pick a race that it doesn't really have either one of those. It's the Chua. <laughs> of course. All right. So, once you've chosen your race and your gender, then the next stage of character creation is uh, where you select your class, right? So, uh, we have now embedded videos of all of the different classes. Mm -hmm. So, as you're going through and you, you say, hey, you know, engineer sounds cool, you click an engineer, you get a little bit uh, of information about what the engineer is, and you get a video that shows some of the combat things uh, yep. and abilities that are associated with being. This an is really great for someone who's new to Wildstar. They don't necessarily know that we're an action combat focused game, and uh, the classes are going to be very unfamiliar to them. So giving them kind of a sneak peek is really helpful, at making ha helping them make their final choice. I do like that. I, I like being able to see the action because yeah. that's really cool. Um, it's just a, I think it's just a more compelling way to represent the race or the class and then allow players really to make an informed choice as they're going through this whole mm -hmm. process. I think that's something really important to call out is everything that we've done with character creation has really been about allowing players to make informed choices about their characters, mm -hmm. whether that's their race, their path, or how they look. And you get to do, and all of this is done in, in a really intuitive and progressive way. So, all right, so I am today, Ooh, I think choice. I'm gonna go medic. You're gonna go oh, medic. Wow. All right, so. Okay. Uh, next is your path screen. Again, uh, there will be four paths that you can choose from, explorer, scientist, settler, and soldier. Again, each one of these has videos that, dis that shows a little bit about what the gameplay is like. Uh, so if the explorer here, right, you see there's some jump puzzles, there's some vista missions, right, just give you a really uh, clear idea about what it's going to feel like as you're playing this particular path. So um, as you click through, and again, there's a little blurb down there that'll tell you a, a little bit more in text about what some of those missions are like. Uh, I, today, I think I'm going to go with Soldier. Good choice. You like that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Chew a Soldier? Chew a Soldier. Oh, yeah. Chew a Soldier sure. Medic. All right. Last but not least, obviously, is character customization, right? So, um, we have completely redone this screen as well. Now, uh, what you do is you <laughs> click through all the different options. Uh, you know, you get to choose your face. So I'm going to pick really something like really <laughs> I kind of hey like all. this dude because he looks Just, a little bit confused. Uh, right. Mr. Mr. Let's, <laughs> let's go. This has got to be, um, what, is, what, is, what is Pappy going to be looking like in Wildstar if he's a Chua, right? I, uh, yeah, exactly. Right. Um, so, and then, you know, again, right, like once you've chosen your face, there's all these different options, right? So you can make your eyes bigger, your eyes smaller. 
Uh, you know, you can change your eye socket height. There's all of these different options. Those things you can get into. I won't, usually I spend about an hour and a half on this screen. Today, I'll, for the sake of all the viewers out there, I'll try You'll to You'll just random all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, again, hairstyles. I kind of like this dude, Fu Manchu, so I'm going to go with him. <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, I like this top knot. <laughs> Yellow eyes. Okay. I kind of like these ears, I think. They're, you oh, know, yeah. This like guy's, he's been, you know, he's been around like the me. He's yeah, the grizzled, grizzled veteran, <laughs> right? You know? Yeah. Like, he's been in a few fights, yeah. just <laughs> like you. <laughs> exactly. Yep. And uh, let me see. I kind of like my, I think I kind of like my Chua a little portly. You know what I'm saying? So, portly yeah. is such a good word. I like it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, fur color. Don't fur color. That. Pink, do you it. Gotta go pink. <laughs> do it. Or, go. or blue. Blue, blue and white. Oh. And then. All right. No, I like pink. The pink. I pink. like pink. Yeah, All right, pink. we're going pink. All right. <laughs> go pink. So here we go. Uh, All right, impress us, Pappy. Let's see. Let's give this guy a name. Watch, people have picked like every single one of your names, I bet. Um, let's call him a scruffy. <laughs> oh, wait. Sorry. Scruffy. Uh, score curter. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there we go. Oh. There, you know what? <laughs> wow. What you, you like that? I like that. Ah, How okay. did you know I was a big fan of Star Wars? Okay, so anyway, <laughs> uh, so all of that is very cool, right? Mm -hmm. The entire experience, again, been revamped to be more intuitive, to, to guide players through it, and to basically allow you, when you get to the end of it, to understand the kind of character that you make. So, very cool. Yeah. All right, so now... We will enter the game, uh, and we'll see some cinematics. Yeah, and this is uh, Jen. You want to tell us about the cinematic? This is well, it's brand new. Brand new. Well, well it, oh, this particular one is not yet brand new. Uh, this is just sort of giving us a little yep. bit of information so about right, the right. Dominion, right, and their why they've come to Nexus and the things that they're sort right. of the challenges they're going to overcome as they get here. Um, once this one ends, then, then we will the see the, the new cinematic that we've inserted uh, into the beginning of the game, um, which sort of hints at one of our really special characters that players <laughs> may be Spoiler meeting alert. at some point Cover a your lot eyes. earlier than Cover they your used eyes. <laughs> So, um, if you don't want to see, close your eyes. This Still is listen. yeah. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. Okay. All right, here we go. Coming up. Oh, oh, hold on. We're loading. Yep. <laughs> Species Chua. Oh, uh, that looks so awesome. Descoof. Greetings. The Ark Ship Destiny has arrived in the Nexus system, and your cryopod has been scheduled for immediate extraction. Hello. You're different somehow. <clears throat> Special. I need your help. Nexus has many secrets. And when the time is right, I will show them to you. Hmm. That was odd. An unidentified system glitch. The ship has just been placed on high alert. Threat level indicates possible exile incursion. Have a Cosmotronic day, Beskalorian. Long live the Empire. All right, so. Here we, we go. We won't go through the, <laughs> the rest of the same area beyond that's the same as in the game. But uh, I think what's cool about that little part, if you actually play through the, uh, the pre-tutorial, the voice that you're hearing is the, is the AI avatar from the pre-tutorial. Mm -hmm. Um, we really liked putting forward the idea that um, A, you know, your race, we bring that out, sort of the story of your race, what you're going to be looking at when you come to Nexus, <laughs> but then also hinting that there's something else that's happening here, some darker secret that Nexus may be hiding and that mm -hmm. you will be looking into as you get further You had a game. welcoming party, by the way. Oh, you did? Look at that. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, okay. Look at that. Look at that. Cute little pet. Hey guys, how you doing? 
All right, so um, we're going to play through a little bit of yeah. the uh, improved uh, Dominion Arc ship yeah. as well. Uh, so let's do some of that, right? Um, here we go. We're going to talk to Axis Phaedra. <laughs> that dance is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Delays All right. Yay, Pappy gets his own crew. Look at this. <laughs> We actually like had coming. quite a bit of changes yeah. done, especially yeah. to Dominion Arc Ship. The storyline has changed quite a bit. Uh, we're also we've also gone through both Arc Ships and made it much easier for a player to um, go through the entire experience, not get lost. It's also much shorter, mm -hmm. more combat focused. Um, all things that that definitely appealed to us when we were going through and remaking the tutorial is something that doesn't that encourages you to keep playing. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, I think we wanted to keep the uh, important parts of it, right? Like where you sort of get a sense of who your faction mm -hmm. is. There's a there's a bigger focus, especially <coughs> on the Dominion side, um, about the actual faction conflict. Mm -hmm. um, this part here, uh, actually what you're about to see here is all completely new. Yeah. So now there's an actual exile saboteur, you know, and you're sort of tracking this person down and go through the experience. Cheeky exiles. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 But, uh, but this is great because it introduces the faction war a whole lot earlier than exactly. it did in the previous version. Exactly. Yep. <clears throat> Giving players that, that real feel that there is faction against faction yep. and not necessarily everybody just moving towards uh, separate goals. Yep. Exactly. So we get you in, do a little combat uh, right away. Looks like someone's been clearing out. Uh, All your fun. Yeah, there yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but you know again right focusing a lot on the player experience streamlining these things right so mm -hmm. that players get in they get the information that they need uh, and then they're then they move on to you know actually jumping into the game and, and, and having fun with their friends so pretty cool yep and then this would move on definitely going now on planet side as soon as you've done you yep. finish all of this <coughs> and that continues as as usual yep. until yep. of course you hit those moments where we have new content yep and whatnot as you level up yeah so now what else, do you have anything more that you want to show us in this particular section uh I th no i mean i think overall like this gives you just a little bit of an idea of some of the improvements that we've made to the overall experience you know a lot of uh what's in the arc ships especially is the same, but there are pretty big differences that I think will make this experience overall just better for everybody. Already um, we can see that. You know, yeah. players have um, expressed a, a lot of positive feedback in regards to the different mm -hmm. um, sections that they can start from, you know, their different play styles. Yeah. Or no play, play style at that point, you know, and this is really great introductory, um, introduction to MMOs in general. So yeah. this is a really good starting point as far as um, that system, you know, uh, novice, you know, not novice and moving on to mm -hmm. super veteran, awesome sauce, don't need any help whatsoever. Yeah. I think uh, that's a really good, we should use that one. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it'll... Let's make that part of our marketing. It'll have to like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'll <laughs> word wrap a bit, but shh, whatever. Right. Word wrap. Yeah. <laughs> so, moving on. Yeah. This is some exciting stuff we're getting into. Now, this is the stuff you really... Well, you want to pay attention to all the stuff, but this is the stuff that where Pappy gets goes wild. <laughs> and so Jen gets to enjoy being like, yeah. look at all the fun things that you're not going to get funny money for. That's great. Yeah, because you keep on spending That's it really in great. all the wrong places. <laughs> <laughs> Throw more coins at it. It'll, it'll, it'll be there. Jen, tell Hi. us about the in-game store. Yeah, so we talked a lot about in the past few live streams, releases, whatever, about uh, the actual player types of free and signature. So now we're getting to the other meat and potatoes, basically, of our transition, which is the actual in-game store. And I have it up right now. Um, this is our store front page. Uh, we'll have rotating banners and calls to action, and various uh, you know advertisements, mm -hmm. of course. Um, we have featured items at any point if we're going to have um, special sales or do we just want to highlight a particular item of, uh, to grab your attention to it. We're going to throw it up on the front. Um, notice we also have a loyalty point uh, uh, bar here. Uh, now we're currently undergoing some name revisions to this, mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, and also some UI, so we want to be able to show a whole lot more than we have right now. But the, as we had said earlier, loyalty program is what you're going to um, 
is our, is our mechanism for basically uh, showing our gratitude for uh, making purchases uh, previous to Wildstar, present, mm -hmm. and uh, in the future. Right. So uh, for every dollar you, or you know, for every dollar type purchase you spend, like buying the box or buying name trans or bleh, character renames or realm transfers, um, you'd be getting the loyalty points. You'd be getting loyalty points for subscribing and things like that, or, or signature mm -hmm. service uh, post transition. Yep. Um, so my current character, I, I PTR copied my uh, my live character. Um, so I have a bunch of uh, loyalty programs. Um, let me uh, oh. um, let me hit on that a little bit. Yep. If you want your current character, there is a PTR copy feature that we have. More information can be found on the forums um, instructionals because you can you can go to different um, bots in your your capital city in order to uh, you know equip you with the equipment that you'll need. But you can copy your current character on live over to our closed beta. Yep. So Here's another question, Jen. Let's say that I really want to get the Snarphalanx mount or the Glitter Kitty Cruiser oh, through, the, so through that. Uh, you can't actually get it through the loyalty program or through the store. It's just through the retail box promotion. But right do now. I get loyalty points if I Absolutely buy? do. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's yes. for me and the actually, most, most yes. important thing. Uh, it's, it's too bad it is dark right now yeah. because I actually colored matched my character to the Glitter Kitty hoverboard because I'm just silly like that. <laughs> no, I think it's awesome. Wow, that's great. I think it's Jen. awesome. Anyhow, so I went I went to the Collectibles UI. This is one of the pets that we're offering for the loyalty reward program. Um, this is one of the first tier of rewards you can get and super cute. Squirrel chicken. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's to not a, the rem name. a reminder for those playing around me, please don't step in front of me, so otherwise they can't see all the cool stuff I'm about to do. Yes, <sighs> please. Um, also, <laughs> just as cool Jen pet. stated before, and this Ooh. is with everything right now on uh, closed beta, is nothing is set in stone. So UIs are work in progresses. Um, different things are work in progress right now, and will be mm -hmm. um, continuing until we eventually decide when we want to launch live. So, yep. So uh, that's the loyalty program. Uh, I also had a bunch of other stuff, like I got a cool Northern Lights die, Ooh. and I can play around with that. Let me take a look. Uh, oh, that's why. So let me go down to my costume here. I'm just going to select all of those and go to my Northern Lights die. Wow. Oh, nice. yeah. Look at that. Snazzy pants. Pretty snazzy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also have, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to get my, nope, not that, I want my headpiece here, Grand Pooba hat. Ooh, oh, yeah. I got one of those. Now you're uh, serious. Yeah. So that's that's which is some also, business right there. Which is also another loyalty reward. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so, cool. really interesting, that outfit. Uh, here's my question. Do you guys think, gen do you think the Pooba is gender neutral, or would it be Poobette? Like, Pooba and I Poobet. don't think it matters. No, I, I think it's cute yeah. I think nut. it's. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I think it is gender neutral. All right, let's well, just a question. Yeah. <laughs> Given that I'm a chihuahua, I'm not sure about that. We so. should probably <laughs> ask Fred Flintstone. I mean, he was really one of the original Poobas, right? Like, yeah. You're really. <laughs> really <laughs> digging deep. None of these people even know who Fred We're Flintstone about is. To say, <laughs> Anyway. He used to drive with yeah. his feet. Really fascinating <laughs> guy. That oh, wow. Interesting man. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to have a total FAQ posted on our site about mm -hmm. the loyalty program with the new name of it potentially as well. Absolutely. Um, so please keep an eye out for that because that will go into extraordinary detail about how many points or various things and so forth and so on. But it's just, I, I yeah. just like it. It's a cool program because you basically just get rewarded for playing the mm -hmm. game and, and, you know, and then doing what and, you do. And, oh, and you know, you know. Buying cool stuff. And yeah, yeah. Free stuff from Madame Fay and all that stuff. So uh, it's very cool. It includes cred, by the way. So yes. if you yeah. buy cred for real money, you're going to be getting loyalty points. If you redeem cred, in game for game time, you're going to be are getting loyalty yeah. points as now well. What so about cool. purchases of like Endcoin? Absolutely. So purchase of a, uh, purchase of a, uh, yeah. And Brain is not here. And Purchases coin. of end coin, <laughs> <laughs> as well as actually spending end coin in the store. There you Wait, go. you get to double dip Wait. on those? Yeah, totally, totally. Like, oh. double <laughs> dipping. Like you only it. get a little bit on the spend on the actual bundle purchase, yeah. and then it comes. It it's, goes All back. Right. I like double dipping. Now. Now. It's good. <laughs> Noted. We'll not share that with you in the future. <laughs> Staying away from that salsa bowl. <laughs> At any rate. Um, so back to the store. So we've actually got um, our balance here. 
Uh, note, this doesn't actually say in coin, it says PTR in coin. This is what I refer to as our funny money. Um, so for the first phase of beta every week, uh, I, I will, yours truly, will be giving you guys a bunch of um, uh, funny money to spend. So if you want some, go ahead and tweet Palm Jen <laughs> no! for funny money. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag funny money. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be doing it until later this week for this week's batch. Hashtag her now <laughs> for funny money and she'll storm up. <laughs> Uh, so for, for phase two, we're going to ask that the transactions um, for the, that will eventually be for the live game actually be tested. Um, so in, in order to, to get the funny money with the phase two, you're going to have to buy end coin bundles. Now the great thing about that is if you buy a 400 end coin bundle, you're getting 400 end coin and you're getting 400 of the funny money. So you're not touching the thing that will be used for live. So hang on to it, spend your funny money to, pl to play around with the store. Okay. Um, and then uh, rest of the interface here, as we're going along, we have a bunch of categories. We have about 83 offers for closed beta, and it's super cool. We've done a lot of different things. We've got consumables, um, different types of flasks. We've got uh, different bits of housing decor and remodel options. Um, we've got a bunch of different unlocks. So um, if you if you really, really need room in your hollow wardrobe, you've got hollow wardrobe display limits. Uh, you've got if you need room in your house, you've got that to go for a um, bunch of different crafting things, uh, room crafting stations. Um, we've got uh, a set of costumes to choose from as well. So really cool things. Um, to note, this is not going to be the final catalog that we're going right. to have for launch. We have about 23 different cool things that we're not going to debut until launch day. Secret, secret. And they are cool. <laughs> yep. They're super cool. Now, <clears throat> none of these things offer any kind of advantage to anyone. They're fully cosmetic, correct? Uh, for the most part, yes. Uh, we have convenience items as well. Convenience so, items, So yeah. uh, one, of, one of our particular special ones are the keys and currency section here. We've got fortune coins, and that's used for Madam Faye's fortunes. And I'll show you that in a minute, because I've got a bunch of fortune coins to spend. Uh, we also have service tokens, and these are used to recustomize your character. You can manage your rune slots with that versus doing it with gold. Um, you can bypass timers for wake here. So if you die and you use your wake here, and if you die again, then you can go ahead and bypass that timer using service tokens. I'm going to be using those a lot. <laughs> yeah, me too. There goes my wallet. Um, uh, same thing if you've, if you've recalled and your recall is on cooldown, you can use service tokens to bypass that as well. And we also have a really cool rapid transport feature as well. Mm -hmm. um, Oh my, lots of people. But oh I my, do, party <laughs> in front of me. But, I do, but I, I do think it's an important point to say you can get convenience items, obviously, but we aren't selling power, right? Like right. we are not yeah. selling weapons that are more powerful than other weapons that you can get Correct. in the game. Correct, absolutely, None of yeah. yes. Yeah. So uh, the other thing we have is a lockbox key in this category, and these are the ones I want to call out. Um, the lockbox keys are actually used to open lockboxes in the veteran dun dungeons mm -hmm. or adventures. Um, and uh, what it is, you're going to have a chest when you've completed it, and it'll be you know right in front of you. You can then use a lockbox key to open it, and actually give gives you a, a chance to get another item on that same loot table that's in that instance. So mm -hmm. if there's a particular drop that you wanted in Storm Talon you just didn't get on the run through, then use the lockbox key, open it up, and potentially get a chance to get that. Do you need to get those mm -hmm. keys before you do your run? No. Is this so something that you can do it while you're in the you're, dungeon? While you're like in the dungeon, once you've completed it, if you don't have a key, then you can just go to the store, buy okay, one, cool. be done with it. Um, and then uh, the other cool bit is these chests will also have pr some pretty exclusive vanity items mm -hmm. in there as well. So if, you want, if you're a collector, um, if it's habitual, <laughs> 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 then um, that will also entice you to potentially get uh, lockbox keys for that as Darn well. Darn it. <laughs> so poor. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, all right, guys, uh, if you're in beta and listening, or, uh, uh, listening to me, just back away, please. Back, um, back, back <laughs> away? <laughs> just so uh, I wanted to actually show you guys really quickly um, our rapid transport feature. This is our little rocket ship icon on the mini-map. Mm -hmm. um, now, all of our UIs are in progress right now, so, um, but a lot, of, a lot of them are really, really stellar at the moment. Um, so this one will actually allow you to do teleport. Um, I should really uh, do this and see who follows me. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, you can see my transport was first for gold. Um, the, the first one is always going to be gold cost and it goes on cooldown. Uh, while it's on cooldown, if you want to use it again, you can use service tokens to, to teleport again. Okay. <clears throat> so now here I am in Elevar. Let's see who actually followed me. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers! She totally trolled you. <laughs> so that's service tokens, lockboxes. Um, we don't have enough time in the day for me to do a dungeon run fail all over right. again in order to do that. 
Um, so I'm going to show you Madam Face Fortunes. Yay! Which um, is the most awesomeness of all time. <laughs> you will get stuck here. If yeah. you have lots of, like, what are they called? Fortune, fortune coins. coins. Fortune coins. Yeah, yeah, fortune coins. You will get stuck here and enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I know this because I, I do. I know this too. <laughs> and Pappy especially knows it because there's something that hap like you can get from in here. Right, right? that I don't yeah. have. Yeah, so he's not getting Jen, it. why don't you show everyone how to so, not be able to get the so thing that I want? So this is our cool 3D scene it on the first go. for, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be funny. It's gonna be, I'm going to laugh so hard. <laughs> um, but this is our cool 3D scene for the fortune coin system. Um, if you want to see what types of things you could potentially win from the fortune coins, um, and Madam Faye, um, you can just click on this chest icon and it will show you all the particular types of things you could potentially get. And hey Jen, what is, is that thing at the top? Cool, that's a spider rider mount. It's awesome. <laughs> it really is so really awesome. Right I'm so busy. You'll note it's orange. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, so the other things to note is you're gonna you're gonna have your um, uh, fortune coin total down at the bottom, um, and then uh, if you don't have any more, it will prompt you to buy more, so you can go to the store. Um, really cute sound effects as you're going through the entire experience is awesome. And then uh, you have this uh, shiny ball that you have to put in the pedestal in order to get cards. So I'm gonna explain the system real quick, and then I'll do it. Um, the carrot here is a cool little meter. Um, so as you play, it will fill up, and on your 15th try, it will give you a higher chance to get the cool, super cool loot. Ooh. And then after that, it will reset, and you have to build it back up all over again. So we're going to try it. Whoever designed this layout is thank you. Because I could sit in front of it forever. So now I've got three cards. I can hover over them and kind of see what I'm going to get. I know it's not going to be a spider rider because it's not right. orange. Not the orange. card is the Gold. color of the, the, of the rarity, the rarity of, of it. Thing, yes. So I got uh, a bag of Omni Bits, and this is the this is actually the currency that you can earn in game through gameplay to spend in the store instead of in coin. Um, the Protostar Premium Fab Kit. All right, I gotta see what one of those. We is. do have a question regarding that meter. If we can just hit on this just really quick yep. before we forget, but the meter that feeds. That that goes up. Does that disappear over time if you don't play, or does it just stay no, static? No, so it will stay static until you hit that fifteenth roll, and then it will reset again. So, so it could take you a month. It could take you. Yeah, a, yeah. You can go in when yeah, you know, in however long it takes. If, if you, for all of a sudden, play and you're up to fourteen, and then you log out for a year, when you come back, it's still gonna be fourteen. Oh, because that would really <laughs> suck. <laughs> there goes your spider rider chance person. Yeah. So I'm that. gonna I'm gonna try to quickly play through this while this is going. I'm on. telling you right now, if she gets that spider rider like. I I'm am leaving so. I'm I will give you my little chocolates. Oh, by the way, Jen loves me. She gave me these chocolates. It's awesome. I'm not gonna show them off because well. <laughs> that is a cool costume, by the way. I have almost all the pieces. The grenadier that costume set. Yeah. Set? yeah. So on my on my dev account, I actually have. I think six of the pieces, yeah. or five of the pieces. I'm missing the gauntlet, so other than that, I have it all. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, my office mate, by the way, has uh, uh, Sean, who's working on the China transition, or uh, the, the, the China version for us, uh, has actually spent 93 fortune coins. This is not, Holy moly. has yet to get his, his uh, spider rider. Well, I feel <laughs> How long did it take Towley? Uh, I think uh, around 30. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> 32 seconds. It was like 30. So I got trade 30. skill stuff. <laughs> The, the, this is really cool. So I got I actually got Dominion Guard transfer papers, and those are actually decor guards. So I can have Dominion Guards guarding my housing plot now, or if I get exile ones, I can put them behind yeah. bars. And there's and, there, <laughs> and there's all the different races that are in those guards. Mm -hmm. So you yeah, have a Mortish Guard and a Orn Guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. yeah. yeah. The Orn Guard that you got yesterday was pretty cool. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill up my inventory. I think but we'll see. You can see that the meter actually goes, it goes relatively fast. It encourages, you know. Ooh, I got weapons. Continued. More Madam Faith stuff. on another yeah. die bag. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are hearing it, but uh, Madam Faye does have VO, so <laughs> she is encouraging you to continue <laughs> to get your foreign coins until you get your spider rider. Okay. So <laughs> I've, I've actually had a lot of questions about this system. Yeah. Um, so the fortune coins are only available for end coin purchase. It doesn't have an omnibit cost. However, the goods from this, um, the things that you win, you can actually trade them to other players. 
Um, so there's still an opportunity for people who don't necessarily want to spend in order to get them. They just have to go through the auction house. You can also them. get Omnibits uh, as rewards. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah. So what you're saying is is nothing is locked in Madam Phase, like the items in there? Yeah. You can so trade if them. you get the Spider Rider, you can and trade you it off you already have one, you could sell yeah. it or yep. trade it. Yep. yep, absolutely. That might be Pappy's key right See what there. what I'm saying? <laughs> I do have a lot of mini maws at this yeah, point. Yeah, you do. I saw them all logged in. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not as many as Jen, though. Right. I mean, she logged into a whole party dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I'm still not. I'm still striking out pretty hard. So All right. we'll see. This one. Like this one's me, gonna be me, the one. Give me a purple. Right here. Or something. Get here us comes. your last shot. Here it goes. Oh. Green? green. Okay, maybe not. Sorry. Green. Yep. All right. Well. I don't have the best luck in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so while we're doing this, we can definitely talk about, you know, some of the highlights of our CBT um, article that we, you know, basically, well, there was a call to action. So, and my mic fell. I'm sorry, guys, if you can't hear me. Um, so we want to talk a little bit about, like, endpoint integration. How is that going to work? Well, I mean, I think you're seeing a lot of it now, right? Like, um, Jen, you may be able to talk a little bit more to the specifics yeah. of that system. Yeah, and this, this kind of relates to the phases as well. So phase one, we're giving out the funny money to spend. Phase two, uh, we're going to be doing a wipe um, for all the purchases and things and all the funny money, and then you'll be requested to um, do the transactions for the top up to get your end coin, save your end coin for Wildstar when it launches, um, spend your funny money on PTR to help yeah. this test. Um, uh, additionally, t uh, in addition to that, we're, we're wanting to go through uh, rigorous testing of the actual store itself. So any of the particular, um, uh, you know, all the, all the products with the exception of the Fortune Coin have an, uh, an Omnibit cost. We want to make sure that you're earning those appropriately mm -hmm. and can spend those in the store. Um, we want to make sure that you can spend the funny money for the, the closed beta um, to get the stuff in the store. Um, and then we also want to um, to kind of get a feel for what the, the habit of the spend is going to be. Um, it might not tell us anything right now because we're everybody's kind of trying mm -hmm. stuff out. But mm -hmm. um, those, are, those are the important highlights, I think, for us is going, yeah. going forward. I actually have a purple. Oh, you do have oh. a purple. Open it. Let's see what it is. Open, open, open. Oh, oh I got that. Lot I, I got that. I already got that. <laughs> so good. Oh. I write it around. Do you <laughs> have enough to, do we have enough there to fill up the meter? I do. I just want to grab my. Do you want my, to? I do want to. I do want to. Okay, you're going to fill gonna, that up in a minute. I'm going to do my hoverboard real Okay, quick, I'm just going to go over some of the little highlights that we're yeah. going to, that we're going to have in our article, and this will redirect to our feature summary, which is on the closed beta forums, which everybody can see, by the way. Not everybody can write, but um, that's because it's really for those people who we're in testing uh, on the server as we speak. So we're going to um, cover a little bit like about the Cryoplex Arena and Alpha Sanctum. The detail with Cryoplex Arena is that it's not necessarily going to launch with live, but we do need testing on it. And so it's in there. It will come following live. Uh, when that happens, we don't know, but that is something that is on our list, and we really need you guys to, to do some um, testing on that. We're doing, uh, we have the sprint revamp, you know, um, so that's a system where you must use the shift in combat, um, and so we need some feedback on that. We're doing our, over, you know, we've overall streamlined all of our dungeons, and so run those, give us feedbacks on that. Uh, we have a sell junk button, we have a content group finder, content finder group finder, we have nav points. We have daily login incentives. And then we also have bonus, bonus events coming incredibly soon. Um, those are things that I will be you know, drafting up article summaries and, and little things here, alerting you that, hey, next week we're going to have this bonus thing. Log in, help us test it, um, enjoy it. And this is all stuff that's going to come on closed beta. Huh. I get it. Yeah, um, I was going to say it too. Uh, I think we've listed out all of these things in our feature notes that we yep. released, right? Um, and, you know, as Didi was saying, I think it's just really important get in there, test these systems, Absolutely. right? Like we've done a lot of work, you know, across the game to make the overall experience in Wildstar better. Uh, we're calling out the things specifically we want you guys to look at, get in there, give us feedback. We're looking at the forums, we're looking on Twitter. We absolutely want to know what you guys think, and we, you know, we're again. This is a closed beta, absolutely. So this isn't just what you get, right? This is our time to let you guys play these systems, mm -hmm. get feedback, make changes if necessary. So I got 
The baby will carry on. Oh, I got that too. <laughs> 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 um, and, and then as Chad said, because right. Chad pig piggybacked on me, I'm going to piggyback on what he said. Um, I am going to have, uh, provided by Jen and her team and mm -hmm. multiple um, devs, have created these questionnaires yep. and their feedback questionnaires. And so it's focus tested questionnaires where I will post them in the forums. I will alert everybody. These are things that we need you to focus on this week. Can you fill out the questionnaires in a specific format, whatever that format is when I when I post them? So that way you guys can help us better test those features. Um, and that's just really, we're really, really like focused on like putting out a really good experience yeah. come live. And the only way to do that is to get everybody to give us their feedbacks. Absolutely. And, you know, fill out all of that information for us. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, so I think I'm Wait, here. wait. Oh, really? She is there. Look at it. Look at the <laughs> Right. Spider it. Rider, Spider Rider. Let's see. Oh, There's there we my go. 15. Ooh, There's my higher chance for loot. Oh, oh. All right. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh, I got it already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can give it to me. I, I can totally it give it to yeah. you. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you guys are awesome. All right, no um, spider writer for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think right now we're going into uh, to look at some. Uh, B-roll footage of Cryoplex, right? Q and uh, Q &A. Q &A I'm sorry. That's it. That's cool. Q&A. Skipping all of that, going into Q&A because I don't read well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and link uh, the article and stuff like that in chat um, so that you guys can go ahead and, and hit that up and give us. In fact, it's already there. I'm seeing it uh, as it goes. So. I have some questions. Those of you who have not gotten your questions in, please get them in. Put a queue in front of them so yep. we can see them because we, they're, it's going, it's zooming, and we're like, oh, and so, you know, so we need that. Um, so this one's going to start for you. Are you excited? I'm you ready. ready for this? I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, you yes. positive? Because you don't know what the question is. Uh, Here well, it comes. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. When will we see the Wildstar history advance? Well... DD. Yes, Chad. <laughs> uh, that's a great question. So um, we obviously for uh, for for the free to play transition, we focused a lot of our efforts on just making the game that we'd already released better, faster, stronger. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, to a, and to a certain degree, some of the other things that we were working on, you know, sort of got put on hold. But for all of you out there who are wondering what the next uh, chapter in the Nexus Saga is, Yay. we've already uh, released the name of that, which is called Vault of the Archon. We are currently working on it as of right now. Um, I cannot say specifically when it will be released, but I can say specifically that A, it looks awesome. B, it includes some of our most cool and uh, exciting iconic characters. Oh, yes. Uh, and reveals yet more interesting and forbidden secrets of Nexus uh, uh, and getting us closer to figuring out how to help Drusera in our fight against the entity. So, so awesome. for all you lore hounds out there, keep your eyes open yeah. and of course we'll be alerting you mm -hmm. as things trickle through the system. Uh, this player asks, I've been hearing rumors of a new raid. Is this something we can look forward to in the <laughs> next drop? Well, <laughs> uh, I will put on my time travel hat right now and say that uh, we are also working on the new raid. Um, I think we've actually released the name, but because I'm not sure if we have, we're not going to say it specifically. It may or may not involve some marauders. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, when that gets released, I can't specifically tell you that, but I can tell you that we are working on it as we are with Vault of the Archon. That will also be information that we'll be releasing as we get past the, uh, the free-to-play transition. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, this player asks, I've been hearing rumors of... Uh, ah, they already asked that one. I'm not asking <laughs> that one again. Um, this one asks, would I get in trouble for streaming this beta? The answer is no. I answered that earlier, but for those of you new to the stream at this moment, um, go ahead, feel free, stream away. Um, is there any timeline for a Mac client? And the answer is not at this time. Uh, that is not, you know, in an effort to, to perfect what we have going on right now and to get it to that place that we have always um, strived to get it to, uh, that is not something that is on the cards right now. Like, mm -hmm. it's not in the cards. So we're going to 
pass on that one for now. I'm not saying never, but I'm not saying any. I'm not. I'm saying not anytime soon. So, um, another question: Will pets be able to join players in PVE fights? Uh, Besides just standing next <laughs> to them and looking cool. <laughs> Pets not, are, not yeah, time. they are just <laughs> cosmetic friends that get to hang out with you and check out your adventures. They do not help you no. uh, in combat. Although it would be very cool if Mini Ma could jump in and blast some people. Have, like, with his, <laughs> his, his, <laughs> ankle biter. His little steam oh, engine so thing cute. that he's got in there, yeah. He's my little care about. Um, are we going to do anything about the game using mouse look? Uh, so uh, that's a great question, actually. So we do, for those of you that have found it, uh, there is a mouse look mode that you can turn on in our game options. Mm -hmm. um, it is still in beta, so use it at your own risk, but we are looking for feedback for anyone that wants to try that out. We are working on it actively here. Uh, we are pretty excited about that feature once it actually gets finalized, but I think in order to get to that point, we're going to need some more players out there to check it out. So absolutely. absolutely post your feedback about Mouse Look as soon as you get a chance to check it out. Yes, please. Um, if I already have a tune on the PTR, do does this player have to do anything to get selected for closed beta? Nope. Not a thing. Not a thing. If you are a sub current subscriber, you should be able to have access already to PTR, correct? Yes, although yeah. we are doing some wiping, so yeah, your character might actually not actually be there if you weren't participating in the stability test right because uh, we did a character wipe right before that uh, use your PTR copy yes so you can yes. copy over your character into the closed beta environment and yeah. you'd be good to go that's actually a good um, mm -hmm. a good point to uh, let you guys know and to remind you that the PTR or the in this case the closed beta server formerly known as the PTR server um, is uh, an environment that we continue to upgrade and uh, put new content on as we're testing, and there will be periodic wipes. I try to give you as much advanced warning as possible, um, and there's constant updates, not always giving warnings. So sometimes there's going to be server downtimes, um, just so that we can continue to update that server and make sure that you get the the uh, the client in there and you're able to test it when we you know when we need you to test it. So I again I try to give you patch notes and stuff when appropriate. That's not always going to happen um, because it is a testing environment. Um, so that answers the next question, though. Will beta characters ever? Will beta characters be wiped? Yeah. Yes. So they were at the start, uh, mm -hmm. and they will be between phase one and two because we do want to test a, a, yeah. a bunch of different scripts. For example, with the loyalty stuff right. right now, for the stability test, we had run one that didn't actually award loyalty points for subscriptions. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing that again in phase two. So we we'll want to make sure that works properly. And again, we'll let you. We'll try yep. to let you know, like with as much advanced warning that your your character is going to get wiped. So try not to get too attached to them, <laughs> if you can help. And PTR copy will still be available. Yeah, too. exactly. Um, will you be able to buy pets? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> Indeed, you will be yep. able to buy pets. Lots you of will. pets. You will, and that's all uh, we can say about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some of them you've seen. Some of them you probably. Oh no no no! Seen. All of the store pets. Have not seen. Oh, none of them. <laughs> <No. sure. Yeah. laughs> Remember, <laughs> she's still keeping stuff like close to her yeah. heart. You know, don't, we're not don't forget, I have 23 offers that I'm holding for lunch. Okay. Just handy. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, do Omnibit pur purchases contribute to loyalty points? I don't think that you can no, purchase Om Omnibits, right? So you can only purchase Endcoin. Omnibits I, I fall think what they're asking is if I spend Omnibits in the store, will I be getting gotcha. loyalty points? Yeah. And the answer is no. Okay. Um, so we we want to actually encourage, and this is this is why I'm I'm saying that this is our gratitude for you actually investing in Wildstar. We want to encourage that continual investment in Wildstar. So that's why it's uh, real dollar purchases mm -hmm. and coin spends, things like that. Absolutely, so. that makes perfect sense. Um, so then this leads into the next question: How do you exactly do you earn Omnibits? So yeah. Omnibits are over time. Um, so as you're playing the game. Uh, you're going to get, as you earn experience through the game, you're going to be getting chances to uh, roll on the table to earn Omnibits. Uh, it's a trickle type mm -hmm. mechanism that over time we're expecting X amount of Omnibits right. per week or whatnot. Um, this is still uh, being tweaked because we are in the closed beta phase. We, will, we may uh, change the gain uh, uh, accordingly uh, based on the feedback we've been getting and on the logs that we've been getting on it. Excellent. Um, so what happens with items that they've already got from the fortune system? 
Well, I mean, if you're spending money, or if you're spending your funny money on the Fortune system during either the stability test or closed beta, great, you got a cool <laughs> thing, but it's not going to come with you to live. Aww. <laughs> uh, and again, I think, back to the Omnibit question, uh, just so everyone's aware, A, you get Omnibits just for playing, mm -hmm. but B, if you play Madame Fay, you're going to get some there. Yeah. Um, uh, from and actually, there as well, something so. that we haven't covered is our uh, login reward system. So every day, you'll be able to get a chance for a cool thing, or you'll be able to get a cool thing. Um, and we'll be awarding uh, Omnibits through the system as well, I believe. Yeah. Excellent. So you can earn Om Omnibits by questing. Yeah. By doing little things in the game, by playing yeah. different yeah. you know features in I the mean, game. I mean, the daily login bonus is just log in <laughs> and yeah. you get cool stuff. <laughs> and log right? in and get so cool stuff. It's a pretty cool system. Yeah. So one player, this isn't a question. I think it's just a request. Drew Sarah merchandise, please. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a fine idea, and yes, I will work on making that happen. Excellent. Yeah. You're here to hear from him. <laughs> Watch. There's there's like a mob waiting outside the door. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, any new race? Or class change, like any new races or classes in the future? Uh, the short that we answer can discuss. is no. Uh, <laughs> but the I think uh, getting a little deeper into it, that is a discussion that we've had on a number of occasions. Um, you know, as we look past uh, the free to play transition in the fall, there's lots of exciting things and lots of exciting places that we want to take uh, the game. New races and new classes, obviously, are things that you would expect. Uh, from an MMO as yeah. it gets uh, further along in this development cycle. So we're definitely uh, talking about those things right now. Excellent, excellent. That actually makes me happy. Yeah. Uh, one player asks, how do I get a job at Carbine slash NCSoft Studios? Um, we're going to go ahead and link to you our job uh, page in the Twitch mm -hmm. chat right now. So you can go ahead and uh, click that link and see if there's anything you're eligible for and go ahead and send us in your resume. Um, how did you recruit? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. How did you recruit Hank from Breaking Bad for the live stream, Kappa? I don't think Jen looks like Hank from Breaking no! Bad at all. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> look. She's got. Here's the thing. I'm gonna move back now. Once Heisenberg was put into the ground, I resurrected myself and said, "Where better to spend my time but working on Wildstar?" So, <laughs> we and we're, ha you know what? We're better for it. We, <laughs> you know what? I appreciate that. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Can I get that raise now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, nice we love you all. Nice. Reminder, there's a, a, to go to the blah, 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 I forgot where I was going. Um, go ahead and you can see all of the things that we're talking about in um, the CBT announced, which closed beta testing. I use CBT a lot. I'm sorry. It's closed beta testing announced that's on um, the web right now. In that, you'll be seeing links, you know, call to action links to go to the KB article, mm -hmm. to hit the forums. Um, it'll be noting different places that you can go to download your PTR copy, um, different things that you can do and directions where you can go to answer a lot of the questions that you might have. If some of those answers are not in the KB, if they're not in the, the forums, if they're not anywhere, please post. We have a general discussion section on the forums. If you have no access to that general discussion, um, because you're not in necessarily in the closed beta, please go ahead and, ahead and hit the, the uh, our regular forums because we will be answering questions there for you as well. Um, if none of those work, you're not a subscriber. Uh, we have other avenues to communicate with us that we are constantly uh, grabbing our feedback from, and that's Reddit. Uh, Twitter is another place, and Facebook as well. So you can go to all of those places to have access directly to us. Um, via Twitter, and that's Papilicious via Twitter, Bardic underscore via Twitter, and mm -hmm. then myself, CRB Sunshine. And, and I think again, right, like we've said it a thousand times, but we are working super hard to improve our game, make it the best transition we can in the fall. We can't do that if you guys aren't in uh, the closed beta, testing things, commenting about things, you know, really looking at these changes and these features that we've added to the game. We need your feedback, so make sure to do that. Absolutely. Yep. And to give that feedback, go ahead and please sign up for the closed beta. And if you don't get your invite right away, please be patient. We're getting them out there. Uh, it's a, again, it's a, it's a relatively slow process because we want to do it right. We want to do it well. And we want to make sure that everybody gets the feedback that they need to get in. And we are definitely listening to that feedback and making um, actionable changes on that feedback. Um, for those that missed it, 
we really, really want you to see the Fortiche teaser again. So we're going to go ahead and air that for you. In the meantime, I'm going to say bye to, uh, to Jen here, which is really sad. I'm going to get her back on this show. You just watch. I will. Because Tony's <laughs> there. And then, of course, we're always going to have you on. Oh. Because we love you, Chad. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> I love you lots. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> this will not be the entry. This has been fun. <laughs> has it been fun? Yeah, it's been fun. I hope so. Yeah. We try to make it fun for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we love everybody. Thank you, guys. And thank you for listening. And thank you for just playing our game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Bye. <laughs>